of the unknown. <clears throat> You're so afraid of what you don't know, you also become paralyzed. This is another reason why we don't try new things. This is the reason why you don't also step out uh, and apply uh, to enhance your life. Or to, because someone said, well, I, I don't know how it's going to be. Nobody does. Mm -hmm. But people who take that fear and say, you know what, I'm going to step out of way. I'm going to be bold. I'm going to step out of way because I know that the Lord has me. Yes, educate yourself and learn as much as you. But there are some things that you just don't know. There are some things that you just will never know. That's something you, you will never know until you what? Until you step out. I was talking to a gentleman, we was talking about uh, Christianity. He said, I don't, I don't know about Christianity. I, I, don't, I, you know, I don't know about the, I, He said, well, how is it? Well, just tell me. I said, yeah, for me to tell you how Christianity is, is like me trying to tell you how a roller coaster is and you've never been on it. That's right. You're just going to have to work. You're going to have to ride. You're going to spring a little bit. But you, and, and, and you know that feeling when you're on a roller coaster? When you start to go down and, 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 and that sausage in your belly starts to come. Y'all know that? You, you, know, you didn't ride that ride? For some of you who did ride that ride, that sausage in your belly start coming up. And, and, and it's that fear. And you close your eyes. You, you close your eyes. Some of us, we want to get off the ride because we don't know what the next turn is. And there are some people who check out of life because of fear of disbelief. You, you, you are alive, but you died several years ago. Yeah. And the reason why you died several years ago is because you are so afraid and fearful of what you don't know, you don't believe. Yeah. There may be some of you this morning, there may be some moves and some changes that you need to make in your life, but you have convinced yourself you have brought mountains into your body. Matter of fact, the fear that you have have caused mountains to come so that you can point to other people who have been telling you you need to change your life. And you say, look, look at the mountains. But you're the one that brought the mountains. They say, no, 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 look, I, I, I don't know what, what's what, you know, and, and you know what we end up doing? We end up creating a story that haven't existed yet. See, if I step out and do it, and I may step out and I may break my ankle, then I break my ankle, then, you know, a mama care don't cover uh, that type of surgery. That means that I'm going to have to come out of, of in my pocket. If I come out of my pocket, then I ain't going to pay my mortgage. If I don't pay my mortgage, then, then we sit uh, out on the street. And so, you know, my Winnebago can't hold all of us, so somebody will have to sleep outside, and we don't have enough sleeping bags, and, and then somebody will catch a cold, and then we'll be at the funeral crying. So that's why I'm going to go to the gym. <laughs> got this fear and some of you and some of you know what I'm talking about you created a whole story of how everything is going to get worse before it even happens and you say you know what okay well well maybe we we'll go there but maybe it'll work but maybe it won't work and if it doesn't work uh, then this is going to happen and then I always spent all that money and all that money was for nothing and the person the people around us are listening to you listen I would rather die Trying to improve and do better. Yeah. 